Why did I choose camping? I can't even get any cell phone reception out here. If I send a text in the woods and no one receives it, do I even exist? <laughs> I just have the loveliest walk. Well, for someone who's been scrounging for food for two days and sleeping in a ground tent, you're in a good mood. I realize no one here cares how I look or smell. And then it happened, Bennett. I embraced my funk. It's liberating. <laughs> well, I'm glad someone here is happy. But is that lichen growing on you? And I'm taking a lichen to it. Uh-uh. Good one, Gaia. That's what I'm calling myself now. <laughs> Okay, let's get you into the shade. The heat is not doing good things to your funk guy. Gaia. Yeah. I know, but you smell like a dude. <laughs> can't believe I could be at the Space Museum right now, accidentally on purpose running into Wes. Oh, hey, Wes. Small world. <laughs> and if you join me for the planetarium show, we'll find out just how small it is, shall we? So it wasn't about learning? You wanted to go to the Space Museum to scam a date? Today, you are my sister. You know, this is all your fault, Chloe. I can't believe you picked camping. Don't be mad at me. Be mad at Stan. He told me there'd be wise owls and animals who could sing. I didn't really believe it, but a part of me still hoped. I am a little kid. Wait. Stan, you convinced Chloe to pick this? What? No. How could you think I... Yeah, I totally did that. You tricked me, Stan. There are no wise owls here. I saw an owl last night, and he was stupid. Stan, you knew how much I wanted to go to the museum and connect with Wes. Why would you do that to me? You were gonna put me in a kennel when I said how much I hate that. Why would you do that to me? I wish we had put you in a kennel, Stan. I'd rather be at the hotel by the Space Museum having a spa day with Mom. Yeah, that's right. That's how unhappy I am right now. <laughs> Oh, so you're all turning on me now, huh? Well, thanks a lot. You always told me we were friends. Yeah, well, friends don't trick each other and ruin each other's chances to have a whole new start with Wes. Well, do friends put each other in kennels? Stan, you're not always going to be able to do everything with us. You have to accept that. I can't believe you don't care how much I wanted to see Wes. Well, you don't care how much I didn't want to go to the kennel. You're just like every other selfish teenage girl who puts her own needs before her friends. Well, you're not a regular friend. You're a dog. What? what? Do you mean? I think he ran away. I've looked all around. I can't find Stan anywhere. That doesn't mean he ran away. Maybe he just wandered off. Or went for a walk. Or rode a skateboard. Or drove a car. Those are all things he's done, so maybe he's doing one of them again. <laughs> no, he ran away. He left his collar next to my pillow for me to find it. Must be because of our fight. I told him he's not a regular friend, he's a dog. And you know how sensitive he is about being thought of as just a dog. It's just, he called me a selfish teenager and I just said the most hurtful thing I could think of. How could I have done that? It's okay, Avery. We'll find him. We have all day. Yeah, he'll be okay. There are no dangerous animals around here. Okay, kids, I am done with this nature thing. Let's pack up, we're leaving. I do not know what made me think I'm an outdoorsman. I'm an indoorsman, and a pretty darn good one. I'm gonna miss being one with nature. A caterpillar's moved into the moss that's growing in my knee creases. I'm my own ecosystem. You guys, we can't leave yet. Stan is missing. He must have wandered off. Okay, I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. We will find him. Your mom and I will check the other campsites in this direction. You kids search around this area. Come on, Ellen. Oh, wow. I think my caterpillar has turned into a butterfly and left me a pupa. I'm the mother of butterflies, Bennett. <laughs> Great, another moth to feed. <laughs> Come on, guys. Stan! Stan, boy! Stan, where are you? Come here, Stan. boy! Stan! 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 Come here, boy! Well, it's just you and me, Robert. <laughs> Avery hates me. Tyler and Chloe are mad at me. Just like every other owner who eventually betrayed me or abandoned me. What's that, Robert? You think I have abandonment issues? Oh, so after three months being lost in the couch cushions, you were perfectly normal? Then why do you still wake up screaming, crumbs? <laughs> well, I guess it's time to go find the next family. Thanks for watching. Now click left or right for more great shows or subscribe to keep up to date with the latest Disney Channel YouTube clips.